morning everyone and welcome back for another video here on my channel as we can see today's video is going to be a little vlog so hopefully you guys enjoy because quite a few of you have been asking and wanted more so if you are one of my returning subscribers first of all thank you so much for returning and joining me on another video and if this happens to be your first time stopping by hello my name is monet i'm 25 years old and here on this channel i talk about budgeting cash envelope system debt snowball and i throw some vlogs in here every now and again so definitely check out some of my other videos if you are interested and be sure to subscribe if you haven't i would absolutely love to have you join the family and and click the notification bell so that you are always notified whenever I upload a new video. What I'm going to try to do, and we're going to say try, is film a whole week in my life. Really, it's going to be like a spend week. I really want to show you guys full week's worth of me spending, using my money, tracking my budget and everything, and seeing if I can stick to it. Giving you, of course, a glimpse into my little life. It's going to be a busy week, which is why I decided why not add vlogging to it and make it even more busy. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So we're going to give it a try. It's actually Friday right now. Right now it's 10 o'clock. It is Friday, June, I think it's June 3rd. And I'm working right now. I'm just going to have my breakfast real quick. But uh, Fridays I am working from home and I actually get off at one o'clock on Fridays. So I like to track my week's worth of spending from Friday to Friday since I get paid on Fridays. And that's what we're gonna try to do. So I'm going to try to vlog from this Friday up until next Friday and track all of my spending between now and then. So yeah, let me go ahead and finish eating my breakfast and then I'm gonna get to work. All right, you guys, and just like that, it is now 1.16. So I just sent out my last email and I've officially clocked out for the week. So on to the weekend we go. But before I get started, I am about to film a video. So here is some behind the scenes look of what it looks like. It's not that glamorous, but yeah, I moved my filming area out here. I used to film out by the desk where the computer is, but I needed a little window. So this window gives me a little bit more light. And yeah, I'm about to film two videos, my sinking funds to close out my May budget. And then since I got paid today, I'm going to film a cash envelope stuffing. Let me go ahead and make these two videos because I want to run to the bank before they close. All right, guys, so I finished the video within it. If you watched it, I have two envelopes that I need to take to the bank. So I'm going to take those with me to deposit. And then I also did my cash envelope stuffing, as I said. So now I'm going to do my breakdown and my cash slip so I know what to take out. But also, this is my binder. A lot of people don't see it often, but this is my binder for my budget. And this is where I put the budget sheets. So I just finished up May, as I said. So I'm going to go ahead and finalize this by hole punching it. And then I just go ahead and add it with the rest. So there we go. May has been officially put to rest. So now let me go ahead and fill this out so I can run to the bank. All right, so there you go. That's just how I filled it out. I'm trying the tally method now. So instead of writing the numbers, I'm just tallying it with the tick and that works out too. So that's nice to try. And then I filled out the bank slip. So now we are ready to go to the bank.
Alright you guys, so I officially finished filming all of the videos. I stuffed my wallet. So now I am ready to begin my spending for the week because I already got to run out and go to Aldi and pick up some bags because now that New Jersey has this law where they are no longer giving out plastic bags, I need to go get bags so that when I go grocery shopping, I have something to put my groceries in. So that will be our first spend of the day. All right, you guys, so we are now moving on to the next day. It is Saturday, June 4th, and we are starting the day off bright and early at 7 in the morning. I definitely did not intend to start my day like this. So last night, I did receive a call from my dad telling me that he lost the key to the car that I used to drive, and I still have the spare key for it. But the downside is, is that me and my father, we live an hour away from each other so it is a bit of a hassle to see each other every now and then and my dad really needed the key so he was going to drive down that night and come and get it but I can tell that he was busy and I really didn't want him to do that drive so I told him I would wake up early in the morning and come down and give him the key so that's exactly what I'm doing and on the bright side when I do go down to my hometown I get the chance to see my best friend because she still lives kind of close to that neighborhood and I wanted to surprise her and see her because it's been a while since we've seen each other in person so yes that's that's all I am on my way to do. Welcome to McDonald's. Hi, may I have a, a number six? Number six, you want the meal or just the sandwich? May I have the meal? Number six with an apple juice, okay? Yes, and that's it. Thanks, honey, you're welcome. It'll be 750. All right, you guys, so an update on what has happened so far. I just finished hanging out with my father. I did everything I needed to do for him. Got the key and all that. And I was on my way to, you know, surprise my bestie and hang out with her. But unfortunately, my best friend is a teacher. So, you know, I wasn't aware that she would be doing the SATs on Saturday. So I just assumed that she would be free to hang out. But yeah, no, nah, she is uh, teaching SATs until 2 p.m. So, me trying to surprise her that did not work out it's currently nine in the morning and i don't want to you know hang around that many hours so i can't see her so i plan on having breakfast with her like that was my hope but since she's busy i just stopped by mcdonald's i'm going to eat this and then i will probably head on back home one thing that I'll probably do is stop by Burlington before I go back just to see the difference between this Burlington and the one at my house because I'm on the hunt for a good work bag. I'm going back to the office on Tuesday and I need like a bag that I can put my computer in, you know, all of that stuff, like a good big work bag. So, you know me, Burlington is my spot. So I'm gonna see if I can find something there. But yeah, that's just the update, guys. That stinks, you guys. I went into that Burlington and they didn't have any bags that I thought were like cute or that were my style or big enough to hold everything that I wanted to hold. So after I was done looking through the bags, I also need clothes, you know, for work because let's be honest, your girl gained some weight and she can no longer fit all of her previous work attire so i'm shopping around and i was in there for like an hour it's 10 in the morning now so i had like you know a good decent amount of clothes in my cart and i go to the fitting room to try this stuff on and the fitting room is closed like all the burlington's back up by or back down where i live all the fitting rooms are open so i didn't even think twice to check the fitting room and see if i can even go in there to buy stuff but yeah it was closed and i cannot buy clothes if i don't know what they look like on me because i just don't have the time to return bring it back Plus with the weight that I gained, I honestly don't know what size I am. So I could think I'm one size and find out, mm, honey, no, that's not it. So I was 
like I cannot buy all these clothes and not try them on and not know if they fit so I, I put all those clothes back which is so annoying because some things were really cute but I just can't but good news while I was in there my best friend texted me back and she said she could get out of work at 12 p.m. so that time I can wait that's only like two hours from now so I can you know browse and shop and try and find some things for two hours but wait in five hours ugh, I couldn't do that but I can wait two hours for her because we haven't seen each other in a minute so now um I don't know where I'm going next maybe I'll hit up a different type of store to try and get something but I really need a bag for work so that definitely has to get done at some point today so yeah I'll hit you guys back once I have something planned and I got an idea of what I'm doing all right guys hello welcome i have with me my best friend <laughs> i kidnapped her from her responsibilities and now she's with me say hello say hi hi vlog say it with your regular voice vlog we're back i'm back <laughs> again but this is my best friend i don't you want me to tell them your name my real nickname is fine all right so this is my best friend her name is cc that's um, what love. you guys can call her we've been friends for how long we've been friends when so she 15 when we were 15 when she when legit we met me we were 15 years old so what how many are we going on 10 years yeah we're on 10 years lord i know i try not to think too hard about it like i was given the sats today and i started doing math and i was like wait a minute i took the sats 10 years ago like <laughs> I, I don't even want to think about that uh, most likely we're gonna go ahead and get a meal because that's all we do is eat I need to get into better money habits. I know you all watch Monet and get those money habits. Keep watching Monet, get those money habits. But Child, me, I mean, mm -mm -mm -mm. It's you see, struggle. you guys see what I mean when I say no one in my real life does what I do. I save my money, but I don't have like a system. I just save my money. That's yeah. It. So that's why I picked up, you know, I I was on my side income today. Like, I went and did my little proctoring on the weekend. Oh, you got paid extra for that? Yeah, I got paid oh, for it. Oh, I thought that was just, like, regular mm -mm. in your I, job. I got paid for that. I'll get paid tomorrow again for it. I'm learning how to drive everyone, you know? <laughs> I didn't tell them that. Oh. <laughs> but, yeah, my best friend cannot drive. Uh, but I am learning how to drive. I need to stop saying that I don't know how to drive because now I technically do know how to drive. But I'm still learning. I'm, a, you know, I'm still in progress, still loading. She gonna get there because I'm getting sick of having to drive her everywhere. That is, I was shamed. <laughs> like, let's start from there. I was shamed. I had no intention on doing it. I was shamed. It's to the not point shame. Where, it's encouragement. Uh, no, it's, I was shamed. It was started off as encouragement, and then it quickly shifted. <laughs> so you should be ashamed. And at some point, you know, you gotta get a license. Like I, I allowed it when we were what 20, 21, 22. Like in college, we like nobody could afford anything. Yeah, but and now like, we going on twenty six. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's time it for is going to happen. All right. Well, I guess this is the. All right. The, there she is when we chowing down. Yeah. I'll let y'all know when we do something up, else. Or you can let me edit it. <laughs> <laughs> the bloopers on this is going to be ridiculous. regular fill up yep. so after hanging out with my best friend and getting dinner i made my way back home and of course with all that driving i had to stop and get gas so i filled up on my gas tank and before i headed home i stopped at dollar general and your girl is trying to get into couponing and i was very proud of myself after this purchase on saturday they have their coupon when you spend 25 dollars, you get an additional five dollars off and there were also other things that i wanted that were on sale so i went ahead and grabbed those so since i'm very new to couponing what i really love about the dollar general app is that as you're in the store you can scan your products and it will ensure that when you get to the end your total is what it should be so that really helps me for somebody who's not very familiar or comfortable with coupons to ensure that i'm getting the best deal and the best bank for my buck so that's exactly what i did and when i did a cost comparison on what i would have spent at walmart the total came to over 30 dollars and for this one i only spent 18 with a savings of over 10 dollars so i was really proud of myself for that and definitely if you have any more tips or tricks when it comes to couponing let me know down in the comments
All right, you guys, so I am back from grocery shopping. So let me do a quick haul for you guys since that's what you guys requested. So I went to all three stores as we saw. So I have a variety of ShopRite, Aldi, and Walmart. And I will go ahead and place the total up in the corner somewhere of how much everything came to. So getting started here, we just have some bread. I have bagels. Over here I have eggs and my cream cheese for my bagels. Back here I have my chicken wings that I always like to keep in my house. And then my lasagna, which I love. I just throw this in the oven and eat that. And then also I have this barbecue chicken pizza that is always a must in my home. Over here we have jasmine rice and then we have white rice back here and then this is a box of doritos i have the red and the blue flavor so i just like to keep those for little snacks as well then up here we have a watermelon i love watermelon so that is a must here i have green and red peppers an onion and then a cabbage and all of these are made to make this cabbage meal that my mom makes it's really good back here it's just a whole bunch of different varieties of gravy. I have um, I have beef gravy, chicken gravy, and then another chicken gravy. And then back here is collard greens. This is my juice that is a must. My favorite, Simply Lemonade, the raspberry flavor. I have almond milk. And then back here is my apple juice. Over here are my french fries. And then I picked up a pack of corn on the cob. These are frozen strawberries and back here, blueberries. I have two packs of the, um, what are these called? Beef patties and bacon. And then lastly, I have a bag of potatoes. That's everything. I didn't get too much meat because I have so much meat in my freezer, you guys. Let me show you. Last time when I went grocery shopping, I bought so much meat. So I have all of this meat to make, so I didn't feel the need to buy any more, but I wanted to pick up, you know, some more little sides and things. And I also forgot to mention, I got a pack of water as well. And then over here in this section, these are what came out of my toiletries. So if you don't know, when I go shopping, the way I separate my categories is that everything that's pertaining to groceries, I would put on one side of the cart. And then anything that I was picking up for toiletries, I would put on the other side. So these are just a few little things that I picked up. These are my closet air fresheners. I put these in my closet and they give it a nice, good scent. Here I have some aluminum foil. This is a poopery for the bathroom, garbage bags, and soap. So yeah. That's everything, so now let me go ahead and wipe everything down and put everything away. So later on in the day, I did decide to go out and step to Burlington once more. I was really on the hunt to try and find a work bag. Unfortunately, I still didn't see one in the store, but I did see some pieces of clothing that I thought were cute that were for work, so I went ahead and picked up some of that. And then I also saw some sunglasses that I thought were cute, so I added that as well. And all of that came out of my clothing category. And then once I realized that I wasn't gonna find anything at Burlington, I made my way over to Marshall's and I found the perfect work bag. It was a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but it was all I can find. So I definitely picked that up. And then as I made my way home, I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts and treated myself to a strawberry lemonade refresher. It's a seasonal drink, so it doesn't come out all the time. So whenever it's out, I always grab it and after that i made my way back home so the theme for this video is clearly going to be back to work um i actually received an amazon package today i did not buy it this week so it's not going to be included in any of my spending but i still wanted to show you guys because <laughs> i'm excited to open it so let us see hopefully they didn't break it because they threw the package at the door Okay, it's nicely covered so it doesn't look broken but I went and purchased me some tubbleware for work but the thing that I really wanted to get this go around was glass tubbleware because I was sick of the plastic turning colors and getting orange from everything that I got so I found this cute set on Amazon and this is what I'm gonna pack my lunch in I think they're so cute 
if you also wanted to get something like this i will link it in the description below just check out my amazon storefront but look aren't they so cute they have a little lid to release the air they snap on both sides so they really hold everything and i'm excited to use these anything so that i don't have to spend extra money at work because I don't know, when I'm there, I go to the cafeteria, I go to the vending machine, and somehow I'm just spending way too much money at work. So I believe this was a set of four, so let me take them all out. Okay, so it was actually one, two, three, four, five. So all five of these, which I think is a good price for what I paid for them, and they look, really sturdy so yeah i'm just excited to use these so i'm gonna go ahead and wash them and use them for when i go to work good morning everyone we are continuing on with our vlog for the week and today was actually a no spend day i actually worked from home that day and mondays are my busiest days of the week in terms of my job so all i did was work all day i had me a little snack later on in the afternoon with some watermelon but after clocking out of work my next big task was washing my hair and that itself takes a process of like six hours so after that i was tired and ready to go to bed it's been a minute since i spoke with you guys but i am officially off the clock i am on my way home right now today was interesting you guys like i'm not gonna lie it was like my first full day of not being in the office since two years of being locked down so i really got into the habit of working from home like you know the first couple hours it was nice meeting people that you haven't seen in a minute but I am spoiled with working from home now. But I'm gonna come back again tomorrow and do the same thing. But what I did learn from today is that I need some headphones that I can put in my laptop or like my iPad so that while I'm sitting in my little cubicle, I can still listen in on meetings without disturbing everyone else around me. Since I've gotten so used to AirPods, I need like actual headphones that can fit in a jacket which who has that anymore <laughs> so I'm gonna stop by Walmart real quick and pick some up so that then I can have those for tomorrow but yeah the plan for today is to finish working on orders that I need to get through on the website um, falling a little bit behind so I got to catch up on that and since I'm not working from home anymore I can't really get to it as quickly as I want because now it's like an hour to drive to work and an hour to get back home so that cuts out you know time out of my day that I can be doing for that but it's fine I'm gonna get into the swing of it and get a routine going but yeah in terms of spending it shouldn't be a lot I really don't spend a lot during the week because all I do is work but 
yeah we'll go to walmart see what we can find and i will update you guys with anything interesting that happens why is it that when you do your hair or you get your hair nicely done the next day it decides to rain like are you kidding me all this hard work i put in and now it decides to rain I just cannot win. Is it just me or does that happen with anybody else? What's up everyone? Good morning. We are now on to the next day. It is Wednesday, June 8th and I am on my way to the office. This is going to be the second time with me going to the office and it's going to be the last time this week. Uh, today actually is not going to be a lot. Like a lot of people aren't going to be in the office today. So I anticipate it to be very chill, very relaxed. My uh, coworker actually told me that I can come in in the morning and then in the afternoon I can step out and do something else that you know pertains to my job, but I don't necessarily have to be in the office. So that is cool. So yeah, I don't anticipate today to be too much. I also don't anticipate spending a lot. Um, so if I don't have a lot of clips capturing the day, that's why. But at least I wanted to come in and say good morning and talk to you guys a little bit. So yeah, we'll see what the day holds and I will speak to you guys later. And hello everyone. So we are here. It is Thursday and we have made it a full week of documenting my spend with me. So since today is Thursday, I am working from home and it's Thursday afternoon and I really don't see myself leaving the home or spending anything else. So I said, why don't I just go ahead and close out my budget for the week? So this is the main way that I stay on track with my budgeting and it allows me to see what I actually spent my money on during the week. So as I showed you guys before, this is my budget binder. And here we see is an example of how I track my daily spending. So the two sheets that I use are my weekly check-in and my expense trackers. So the expense trackers document what I spent my money on and out of what category and how much. And then the weekly check-ins allows me to see how much at the end of the week I have left to spend for the next upcoming week. So this is the June layout and we are first going to fill out the expense tracker. So since I do the majority of my spending with cash, the main thing that I need to succeed in order to track my spending is to keep track of all of my receipts. So throughout the week, I go ahead and just put all of my receipts in this little zip bag. And then at the end of the week, I come in and see what they are. And if you don't have the Fetch app, also go ahead and get into that. Fetch is an app where you can scan your receipts and actually get money back. So all of the receipts that you scan, you get points and then those points get transferred into gift cards that you can use. So you are already spending your money anyway, as I always say, so why not go ahead and get some points? I will leave the link to my Fetch rewards down in the description. And if you sign up, you would get 2000 points and I would get 2000 points after you scan your first receipt. So go ahead and check it out if you haven't heard. So taking out my receipts, we are just going to write down day by day of my spending. So there we go. You see, once you keep your receipts, it does make everything easy for you to just jot down and write down. If you are keeping track, if you notice, when I went out to eat with my best friend and her sister, I actually don't have that listed here as something that I spent. That was because I actually paid for that with my buffer. Uh, if you watch my channel, you notice that I usually put aside $5 
every time I get paid. And then also another thing that feeds into my buffer is if I have any variable expenses that don't come out to as much as I thought. So for example, for my heat, I estimated $160 for heat, but since it's summer, I'm not running my heat as much. So that allowed my heat bill to be only $80, which was well below what I expected the total to be. So whenever my buffer just gets a little too high, I just spend it on miscellaneous things. And this time that's what I spent it on for my little meal when I was out with the girls. So that's why that's not listed here. But yeah, that's as simple as that for filling out the expense tracker. And then we'll quickly fill out the weekly check-in. All right, so these two pages really go hand in hand. What I like to write here for week one is to just jot down the dates. So this was spending between June 3rd through June 9th. And then the categories are these up here. So this up here just signifies where I ended my balances from the week prior. And then this here is any money that got added at the beginning of the week. So since we saw I got paid, what I do is I look at my paycheck from paycheck one and any money that got added from these categories would get that. So gas, I added 100, so 100 is added. Spending received 80, groceries 140, toiletries got 50, clothing 20, and eating out is 35. So now we just go ahead and look at any categories that match over here and note any money that was taken out of them so that then we can get our remaining and verify that that is what we have left in our cash dividers. So getting started with gas, gas we used twice. So we have 20 and 38. So that is $58 that we use for the week. If we started with 60, we added 100 and we took away 58. We should now be left with $102. Gas I actually don't physically keep within a divider. I keep that on my debit card because I go to Costco. But when I checked my account, this is what I had left in it. So that is correct. Now we can move on to spending. Over here, spending comes to a total of 32 plus 3 plus 9. So that is $44 that we did for spending this week. We started with 80 we added 80, we took out 44, we should now have $116. So over here is my spending, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that is true, $116 is in spending. After that, we move on to groceries. That comes to 147. We started with 10, we added 140, we took 147. So we now have $3 left in groceries. Here's groceries. And that's one, two, three. Next, toiletries. That gives me 56. 20 plus 50. Minus 56, I should have $14. Toiletries, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Clothing, we only used once and that was for $42. We had 40, we added 20, we used 42. That's $18. Clothing, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then last is eating out. Eating out for the week came to $14 used. We had 25, we added 35, taking out 14. We should be left with $46 eating out. 20, 40, 45, 46. So yes, that is true. So there we see that all of my dividers are what they say they are, and I still have to get through another week before I get paid. So this is just a nice time to see how I'm doing so far. So that's why I truly love these sheets. It may be a process, but I really think it is well worth it to put in the time to actually see where you're spending. Because if you see that you are overdoing it in a category, this is the time where you can reflect and really put a limit on yourself and say that maybe I need to dial some things back. 
All right, so overall, I really hope you guys enjoyed spending the week with me. I hope you learned something. And if you did enjoy, if you did learn anything, let me know down below. Let me know what was your favorite part. I always love to read that. Be sure to give it a thumbs up because that really does help and support my channel. And if you aren't subscribed yet and you are enjoying the content, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and join the family. But with all that, that is all I have for today's video, you guys. And I will see you all next time in my next one. Bye, guys.